Sasha. Thanks for joining me for a creative sequencing power yoga class. Today's class, we're going to start in a child's pose. If that's not comfortable for you and you'd prefer to start in a different position, listen to your body. As always, I want you to move intuitively. Listen to your body. Your ankles, knees, hips will tell you what feels good and what might not feel so good. Um, if there's some discomfort in the stretches, try to breathe through that. Anytime you feel pain, back off that pose or stretch is not for you. We'll come into that child's pose and we're gonna to start to move pretty quickly after some deep breaths. And I have uh, a sequence that adds on and then a fun flow that takes us around the mat. All right, get into your child's pose. We could start with the knees wide if you feel like those hips are feeling a little bit tight today. If your spine or low back is feeling a little bit tight, maybe start with the knees closed. We're gonna drop in and allow ourselves to be heavy on our mat. And feel like you're sinking into the earth, arriving in your space and meeting your body as it is. Before changing the breath, just See if we can let go of distractions, expectations, judgment, and just focus really inward on our practice, again, on what feels good in the body. If you feel a little bit lost, you can always repeat the class or sequence, pause, rewind, all that good stuff. Let's start to focus on the breath. Inhale into the back body, expand through the ribs, fill the lungs, and then just sigh. Ah, audibly exhale. Again, inhale deep. Exhale, big sigh. Ah. And we'll just continue to take a few long breaths, elongating, maybe even taking some depth into your breath. So we inhale and possibly hold a couple seconds at the top of the breath. We exhale, completely emptying out the lungs and possibly holding a couple of seconds at the bottom of the breath. Feel the expansion in the back and sides as you inhale and feel that surrender, letting go on the exhales, any stress, any thoughts, let it go. All right, from here, let's go ahead and crawl our hands off to one side of the mat, and then just subtly wiggle your hips from side to side, trying to pull in opposition. So we're always kind of tensing and relaxing and wiggling and moving. Other side, crawl it across the mat. Your head can be heavy, and you'll just kind of wiggle around, finding any sticky spots and seeing if you can breathe a little deeper through them. Come back to center. We're gonna bring it onto the toes. So tuck those toes under and crawl your fingers back. You can pull the knees a little closer, maybe hip width. And we'll stretch out the arches of the feet here. So it's a pretty intense stretch. So if you can just breathe through that. While you're here, let's cactus the elbows. Inhale, heart to sky, exhale, forearms touch. Inhale, heart to sky, gentle lean back. Exhale, forearms touch one more, inhale, open and exhale. Let's get off of the toes, give them a little pat down in your tabletop and we're gonna focus on the fingers and wrists, trying to jet some shoulder circles over the fingertips. Remember to spread your fingers wide anytime you're pressing the hand down into the mat. Engage through the fingers. Let's rock forward, send the hips back. Rock forward, send the hips back. Now flip your fingers towards the knees and do that same thing. Lean back as far as you can and then you can peel the palm up, stretching the fingers back. Lean forward, pull back, and then peel the palm, keep the fingers down. Take them sideways, give it a little rock. And then we'll take a counter stretch. You can always do this if your wrists are feeling a little bit of tension or stress, you can take this counter stretch and wiggle out those fingers. One more time sitting back on the heels, this time keeping the toes 
just in line, staying on the top of the feet. A little flex and point. You can just kind of like wave your arms, your fingers up and down. Make a tight fist and start to blink like you're flicking off water. This gets intense really quickly. Flick faster and faster. Elevate those shoulders. Try to bring your bicep by your ears. Stretching the shoulders back, pulling the ribs in. So we're knitting and engaging the core. And we're still flicking for three, two, and one. Shake the wrists down. Imagine you're twisting something here. Shoulder circles. Lift together. Internally rotate. Lift. Pull the fingers back. Gentle back bend. Heart to sky again. Shoulders forward. Little cat back. Lift and then drop your fingers off behind your body and arch back, lifting the chest up. Only drop the head back if it feels safe for you. And come back to that tabletop position. From here, we'll tuck those toes and hover the knees, bouncing the knees for four, three, nice and low, two. Feel that pit of the belly. Now rock back. Sending the hips back towards the heels and then charge into high plank. Gentle tuck of the tail, firm the core, firm the quads, press the shoulders down. Hovering uh, table, we'll call this loaded beast, <sighs> to your plank. Two more. Load and charge into those fingers and load and charge. Downward facing dog, lift the hips, drop that head. Start to pedal, high heel, low heel, walking the dog up and down, stretching through the arches of the feet, but also the calves, the hamstrings, shoulders as you draw the chest towards the toes, wiggle the hips side to side. Moving organically, maybe you take one knee, bend it, and rotate in opposition to the opposite side of the mat, feeling that side body switch, bend the knee, twist. Send those hips away from that knee and then leaning over two more. Rotate and twist. Bend, rotate and twist. All right, widen the stance, maybe mat width for some spinal waves. We're gonna round it forward. And when you get to your plank, swing the hips through up dog on toes. Feel that front body, quads, hip flexors, chest open, proud heart, shoulders down. Exhale, tuck the chin. Roll it on back to down dog. Again, roll forward. Inhale. Exhale, swing the hips. This time, bend the elbows. Land and float down to the belly. In opposition, we're going to lift up and then lift the quads off the mat. Up dog on toes. Tuck the chin. Push down and roll back. This time, we'll stay on the mat. So, we'll go ahead and round forward. Swing the hips through, open up the front body, bend the elbows, and release to the earth. Take your right hand out, lateral from your right shoulder, hamstring curl left, and scorpion twist. Try to get those toes up by the fingers, but no force. And a little bit of pressure in that right shoulder. Breathe, try to relax into this shoulder stretch. Hip opener, spinal twist. Breath in, and out, switch, flip it back. Right hand by chest, left hand, right outside the shoulder, straight out, lift the knee, hamstring curl, and flip back. Scorpion tail, that knee is up and the toes are reaching back. You might even get a hamstring cramp like I'm getting. <laughs> Try to relax, maybe straighten and then reset. And then again, a little pressure into that shoulder as you kind of sink the head and body weight into it. Breath in, breath out, unwind that. This time we're gonna take our right hand to the base of the skull, and you can take your left forearm down into a sphinx. And we'll try to just twist the elbow up and down three times. So elbow to thumb, rotate up. Might feel a little awkward, just only go to where it feels okay, and engage the low body, the glutes, the back, the hamstrings, rotate now, sphinx, and switch, left hand behind the head, elbow to right thumb, rotate and spin, so you might not be able to stack, but you'll just get a little bit more space each time, tap, and rotate, 
Lift, 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 press into the head. Lower. Find that sphinx, tuck those toes. We're going up. Zip up that core, forearm plank. Active quads, abdominals, shoulders, tiptoe forward. You're gonna keep the knees bent if the hamstrings aren't ready to straighten. And then we're gonna to try to press up, lean into the hands, press into downward facing dog. Go ahead and readjust yourself. Wiggle the hips, take some breaths. We're gonna take a one-handed down dog, right hand reaches back for the left ankle or toes, whatever can grab. A little twisting down dog stretch. Pull that left hip back, look under the left arm hit. Now reach out to one-handed plank. Reach forward, lower the hips, and then swivel into side plank. Lower down the hips, reach for those toes. Come back the same way you went in. So we'll side body stretch in plank, lift the hips, and we'll rotate down to that down dog twist. Grab your ankle if you can, or whatever's there, and we'll switch. Left hand towards right ankle, really spread your right fingers and press. Hopefully your mat is nice and sticky and you're not sliding. Use that shoulder, breathe. Now reach forward, hit your one-handed plank. Swivel your hips to the right, left arm lifts. Swivel or swing the hips down and lift. Side body stretch and side plank. Reach that left hand back, rotate to down dog twist. Breathe. We'll do that one more time each side. You can move a little quicker. Left hand towards right ankle. Reach forward into plank. Swing to side plank. Lower, maybe don't release the hip this time. Just lower and lift. Reach back for down dog twist. Last time, right hand down, left hand reaches across. Reach that left arm forward and hit your one handed plank. Twist over, stacking your shoulders and hips. Sink, lower, push the shoulder, let the shoulder lift and then press it away from the ear. Stretch, rotate the belly down. Down dog with a twist and release. Good, take a breath here. We're gonna add our flow. Right foot reaches to sky, toes up. Good, reach those toes up nice and high. Scooping through the belly, chest to toes. We'll take a knee tucking into the nose and then a knee dips to the mat. Up to the nose, toes to sky. One more. Knee to the nose, nice high tuck to the mat, to the nose and to the sky. Stretching the hamstrings, finding that split. Now this time as you tuck, we're gonna step forward in between the thumbs, create that space, come onto fingertips. Lengthen the spine and shake out those wrists a little bit. Coming right into high lunge, crescent lunge. Lift the chest. Feel the left hip flexor, the quad as you tilt the heart up and the hip up. Take some breaths here. Cactus the elbows. Keep tilting, tilting, tilting. Neutral. We're going to reverse this. Instead of bending the front knee, we're going to now bend the back knee. Straighten the front knee and cactus again, tilting the hips and heart up and forward. Challenge that balance. You might find yourself shaking. Breathe. That's where you grow. Whew. Low lunge. Anjaneyasana. Lower the back knee down. Low lunge to half split a few times here. Finding your range of motion and increasing it. Flex back. Swing the hips through. Maybe you lift shoulders over the hips, fingers down, half split. Low lunge, lift shoulders, pull them back and down over the hips, reach for the ground. Fingers by toes, half split. One more time. Reach it forward, roll those shoulders back. Heart to sky, gentle back bend if it feels good. And then half split. Little core challenge if you want to take it. Push into those fingers and see if you can pick up that front heel, like cat, catting or rounding the spine. Really active quad and hip flexor and that core strength. Lean into the fingers, scoop, 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 and land. All right, your right knee might have to stay bent, that's okay. 
twisting half split. Lift the right arm as you draw the right hip back and down. Twist, think of like a triangle. We're in a half split twist. From here, we're gonna slide this right foot behind us into a modified side plank. The back foot's gonna naturally open out. So we just kind of swing into it. Using your abductor strength, lift out of that left shoulder. Good, we'll just open up and side body stretch for a breath, kind of collapsing and then lifting. Now I want you to try to lower onto that bottom left forearm. See if you can seamlessly do it. If you need your foot and hand down to do it, that's okay too. Hold your abduction. Now drop the right foot, top foot, slide your left foot out. We're in a forearm side plank. Find your breath. It's my hair in my mouth. From forearm side plank, think of a reverse table or crab reach on forearm. Walk your feet parallel. Hips up, chest up, squeeze the glutes and gaze up or down, just reaching through the heart and framing the face with that right arm. You're gonna come back into the side plank, back. Lengthen the left bottom leg. Step over with the right foot as high as you can and then release the hips. Now bottom knee swings in and think of a figure four here. Press out through that right hip in external rotation, still active through the bottom forearm, shoulder. Nice. Now think of creating a nice shoulder stretch in the top arm, reach behind the head. Maybe find your fingers and interlace those fingers and peel that chest and heart upward while continuing to send that right knee away from the body. So if you have a thin mat, it might not feel great on the elbow, so just be mindful you don't have to grab the other hand. You can keep it, the bottom arm down. Lift up, push yourself up to a seated twist. We're gonna drop this right sit bone and then twist left arm across that right outer thigh or wherever you can take it to. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Keep dropping down, trying to even out the hips and rotate, looking behind you. Couple of deep breaths. And then we simply spin back to the top in downward facing dog. Spin towards the front of your mat and walk your feet back down dog. Let's take a vinyasa in between. So we'll roll into length. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, elbows to ribs, heart and gaze forward. Toes kind of swing back, pulling the heart through upward facing dog or cobra. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Breathe it out here and we'll repeat the sequence with the left leg up. Left toes to sky. Spread your fingers, anchor down. You can keep the right knee bent. The heel doesn't have to land at all. Now left knee to nose, tuck, 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 tuck. Left knee down, up and back. Again, left knee to nose, tuck, 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 tuck. Lower, lift and back. This time left knee tucks and we step on through in between our, th our thumbs. Go ahead and tend the fingers. Try to lower into the hips and charge the energy, the heart forward, swing up, crescent lunge. So you're gonna take a breath here while you straighten out the back knee, tilt the hips forward, lift the chest, cactus the elbows. Gentle back bend, neutral. Shifting into the back knee. Now, opposite, the front knee's bent. Now we're gonna straighten the front, bend the back, lean and cactus again. Woo! Find the shape, high heel, a lot of shaking, chest to sky, hips forward. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And slip into low lunge. Release the back knee. Woo! Sink down a little bit and then pull back into that Ardha Hanumanasana half slip. Shift forward, shift back. Explore those edges. 
Inhale, maybe pull the shoulders back, stack. Exhale, find that half slot. Let's do that one more time. Rock forward. If you'd like to hold longer instead of moving so much, listen to your body. Now meet me in your half split. Option for that core challenge. Fingers are up by the ankle, so you have space to do this. Push the shoulders down, round the spine, cap the back, push into fingertips and lift the heel. This is much easier with blocks. If you're going for a super strong work here, uh, you could try this on flat hands. Even harder to make space to lift that heel. Quite challenging, that's why I'm giving you those fingertips. <laughs> All right, now twisting half split. Right hand down, left arm up. Work that left hip back. Breathe here. Press into those right fingers. Keep rotating, stacking shoulders and ribs. Now left foot's going to swing out to modify side plank. Right foot's naturally going to kind of kick behind you as well. Hold your shape. Strong outer thigh. Strong core. Go ahead and reach the hand and leg in opposition and just release into the side stretch for breath. Tuck the pelvis forward. And then come back up and lower to forearm. You might kind of crawl your hand out a little bit and then your elbow comes down. See how you can get there. From this pose, we're going to come into side forearm plank by walking out your feet. Strong bottom shoulder, cinch up that bottom waist. Now walking onto the feet, lifting your hips and heart up. Crab reach on forearm. Imagine you're framing the face, squeezing the glutes up, really reaching up into the back bend and stretching through that shoulder. Come back the way you went in, bottom foot long. Now the top foot's gonna step over and you'll land the hips. You can walk this foot closer in and bend the bottom knee, making a figure four. Left hand to inside of thigh. Gently press away, find your external rotation. The hip joint is rotating outward. Breathe here. Now your option is to stretch that left arm over and behind the head. You can try to reach for your shoulder or you could try to bind the hands and peel the chest open as you continue to pry that hip away from the body. Breathe here. Creating this pretty shape and then we'll crawl our way up by pressing into the hand and walking yourself away. Lower through that left sit bone here. Half floor to the fish twist, settle here. Bring your right arm out. So it can be an elbow, a hand, no force. Just inhale, find the length as you drop the left hip. And exhale, find that rotation. If you're using your elbow for leverage, you can push against it for the twist. One more breath here, and we'll swing back over our right shoulder for downward facing dog. Spin, hands to the top of the mat, walk yourself back. Downward facing dog, rolling through vinyasa, plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, squeeze that core. Can you come back to plank? Chaturanga, plank, totally optional. Chaturanga. You're gonna slide toes back, pull heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. So let's come to the top of the mat by rocking into the hands, bending the knees, pulling those hips back. Bounce and imagine jumping over something, lifting your hips up and jumping towards your hands. Lengthen, halfway lift. Uttanasana, forward bend. Let's bend the knees. Shake the head, maybe bounce a little bit. You can take the uh, hands to the base of the skull and make this a folding chair. Bend and work straighter. Bend, deep yogi squat, chin towards chest. Then try to lift up through the hips. Knees can be bent or just soften them and rag doll up. When you start to stack vertebrae and shoulders, Open the elbows and pry the heart open. Gentle back bend, supported neck here. Whew. Come on down 
and flush this out. Any shakes, wiggles, maybe some big hip circles. So we're gonna go move a little quicker and we're gonna add on to that flow. So we won't be repeating things, we'll kind of just go through the poses we just did and add on when we get to that seated twist. Tadasana, mountain pose. Lengthen tailbone, firm quads and core. Wrap the ribs, inhale, lift. Option to back bend. Exhale, swan dive. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, now bend your knees. Plant the hands down, jump back plank. Chaturanga. Get toes back, heart forward. Up dog, exhale down dog. Right toes to sky. So we'll just do one knee to nose and tap. Knee in to the mat, to the nose, step through. High lunge, crescent, cactus, neutral. Bend back knee straight in front knee, cactus. Whoo, tilt and release to low lunge on the knee, Anjaneyasana, half split, stay here. Option to pick up that heel, then twist your half split, right arm swings up, pull that right hip back. Right away, we're gonna swing the foot back, modified side plank with abduction, and then lower onto that forearm. Step into side plank on the forearm, walk into that crab reach, hips up, reach back over the head. Walk back to side plank, top foot reaches over, steps over, hips swing down, bend bottom knee, kind of wiggle your legs closer to your body. Okay, breathe here, your option, strike your pose, find your hands, puff up through that chest, push that hip away from the body and swing or walk on up. Drop through right sit bone, half lord the fish twist. Rotate, rotate. This time, instead of going to down dog, we're gonna spin into a wide leg fold. I'll be facing away from you. So I'm gonna spin over my left shoulder and unwind my legs. Open, toes in, head heavy. Shake out that head, you can rock and sway. All right. So this is the front of the mat where we've been working. We're gonna stretch to the back of the mat, right fingers reach across and left arm reaches behind the back. You could even wrap it. You can bend the knees if you need to, twist, or just let gravity take that arm back. Now, like a pendulum, swing to the front of the mat and then go again, reaching twist, pendulum swing. Reaching twist, last one. Pendulum and twist. We're gonna turn to the front of your mat and pyramid. Spin, turn your toes and hips forward. Here is your pyramid pose. Drop the head heavy, bend the knees if you need to. Allow gravity to take over here. Beautiful, let's take a halfway fold. Engaging through the core, holding your half folded uh, pyramid. Now bring the back, the fingers towards your back foot. We're gonna bend our back knee, the same shape we made in that lunge where the back knee bent and the front leg stayed straight. Option floating pyramid, push into those fingers, puff up the back, kind of the opposite of the half split lift. We're gonna do a flamingo lift, pulling that left heel to butt. Now land, keep going, find a toe stand or a pistol. Pistol squat, hold here. Active through the core, go ahead and have a seat and lift up to bow. Remember the left foot's coming right back down, finding that pistol squat. We're gonna rock our right foot forward, duck lunge, rock forward, left knee down, right foot down, standing, split, charge it up. Just for fun, let's practice that again. So we'll go from your back knee bending pistol, lower, it's okay if your mobility is not there, use your hands, make it work. Finding a boat, let's go low boat, high boat, low high, left foot down, rock forward, gather up your shoulders, step, 
Charge your left foot up, standing split, meet me here. Feel free to really explore the depth of your split, or if you prefer jumping on the hands with some inversion work or the forearms, you could try a couple of hops or catching a handstand. So whenever you jump on the hands, you want the most control as possible. Instead of flicking the top leg up, think of a small hop off the bottom foot and reach those toes. Push like you're trying to make a hole through the ground with your palms and your fingers. Shoulders elevate. Come on down. Come on down, hit your standing split one more time. We're gonna grow into warrior three, start to charge up through the back body. Arms can stretch back to flight. Low lunge, reach, 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 bring the hands down, step through vinyasa. You could take that right leg and keep it up. Knees, chest, chin, upward facing. All right, stay on the left knee, stretch the right foot up again. Knees, chest, chin. This time, maybe you melt your chest and your chin and your right toes go up like a puppy. You could hamstring curl left, heel to butt as well. And press away, cat. Quick child's pose. Melt those hips down and we'll do the other side. Remember, you can always hit pause if you need time to rest, recover, drink water, towel off if you're sweaty. Let's do that one more time. Then adding on to that flow, spread your fingers, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Left foot's gonna swing up high, toes to sky. Now knee to nose, to mat, to nose. Push the shoulders down, step through. Tuck the fingers, sweep up. High lunge, crescent, cactus. Tilt the heart up, hips forward. Neutral. Bend front knee straight, or bend back knee straight in front knee. High heel and back. Cactus again. Find that edge. Challenge yourself. Whew. Now low lunge, back knee to the mat. Half split straight in front foot. Front knee, flex toes. Half split to twisting half split, left arm up. Press that right shoulder down, activate the core. As you stretch the left foot back, the right toes can swing out. Finding your modified side plank with abduction. We're gonna go ahead and lower onto the forearm. Maneuver down if you can, scoop in through the core. Step into side plank on the forearm. Hold the breath. Walk your feet parallel, hips to sky. Crab reach on forearm. Really big stretch. Reach those left arm, left fingers to the front. Now walk back. Top foot, left foot steps over. Hips melt. Bend bottom knee. Figure four. Really open up the hip and then strike your pose. Chest proud. Hips open. Reach. Walk onto your hand. Drop through left sit bone, seated twist, half forward the fish. You can use your elbow for leverage, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, hug that belly to spine, and then full circle over your right shoulder, wide leg fold, spin. Go ahead and adjust your feet by widening, toes a little bit in, pigeon toe, head heavy, move, sway, subtle cat cows. Now walk to the back of your mat, left hand reaches behind, right arm twist. You could wrap the arm around the back or just let gravity swing it. Your knees can be bent. Now we're gonna pendulum swing to the front of the mat and repeat that shape. Twisting wide leg fold, pendulum swing. Twisting wide leg fold, reach a little further, one more. Swing and twist. Now spin to the top of the mat, pyramid. Turn your toes and hips forward, drop the head heavy, shake it out. Find that breath connection. Right hip swinging forward, left hip back. Now turn on the core, halfway fold in pyramid. 
Scoop in through that belly. Reach through the crown of the head. Fingers back. Reach your fingers back. Thumbs forward. Bend the back knee. Option for your floating pyramid. Cat the back. Push into those fingers and hug the heel towards butt. Squeeze. Land. Rock your hips back. Possibly onto the heel for a pistol squat. Might be more like a toe stand if your ankle doesn't release there. Have a seat, go into boat pose, Navasana. And then right foot back, rock yourself forward. Duck lunge, step forward. Standing split, right toes to sky. One more time for fun. Go ahead and lower onto the right toes. Then the heel, pistol. Boat pose, high to low. High, right foot pulls in, rock forward. Step forward, standing split. Again, we can stay in the standing split or we can play on the hands or maybe hop it back and you can try to jump or press into a forearm stand. Just see what you have in the take, what you're going for, what your goals are. some point, come back into the standing split. Toes to sky, active, active, active. Now start to look forward, engage the core, and swim up to flight. Warrior three, when we step back to lunge, take it through a one-legged plank vinyasa. Step back, hands down, left foot up, chaturanga. Up dog, good, left knee down, knees, chest, chin. Try to bring that chest and chin to the mat only if it feels safe in your cervical spine, thoracic spine. You can hamstring curl, left heel up, toes up, breathe, and push out. Cat the back and find child's pose. Release into that low back. Take some time to move in ways that feel good. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Our final flow of the class will be from standing. And we're gonna just move around and play with it. Maybe I'll throw it in twice. Let's see how it goes. Press into down dog. You can float, walk, hop, handstand to the top of your mat, however you like to get there. If you are working on that float forward, you can be short in your dog. Balance your hips back, belly to thighs. Again, imagine you're jumping over something. Spread your fingers. Push the shoulders. Push. Jump. And find that control in the shoulders, the quads, the core. Slow down those legs. Halfway fold. Release. Let's ragdoll up here. Rounding up, up, up. Tadasana. Moving into a tree pose. I'm going to take the right foot up, grab the right ankle, and place the foot on the inside of the left foot, the left leg, wherever it is. Just start to press the hips forward, broaden the knee to the side. Inhale, stretch your branches, reach it up. Can't believe I'm tall enough to hit this span here. Stretch it over to the right towards that knee. Keep prying it open. Hips go left. Woo. If you fall out, no big deal. Straighten out. Now, side bend to the left. Hip subtly to the right. Remember, you're pushing your foot into your leg and your leg back into the foot. Balance, connection. Good, lift. Come into neutral. Now, peace fingers, right fingers. Grab right big toe. Extend it out. You can keep the knee bent if you need to. Or we're going to straighten it and swing it sideways. Look away from that leg. Strong, active, supporting leg and core. Now, shiva squat. Swing this right knee around the back of the left. See if you can fly here. Coming all the way down to seated, slide the knee and the hips to the mat. Moving into pigeon. You might find yourself off your mat. That's okay. You can readjust if you'd like. Left foot, Swings back, find pigeon. Here's where maybe you kind of wiggle yourself back to your mat if you care. Tuck your toes under, 
active pigeon. Lift the back knee. Try to feel that quad hip flexor and back. Then release the toes. Gentle heart to sky. Back bend and pigeon. Sink through hips. We're going to come back to standing. The left foot swings around. Using that momentum of your rocking forward. Shoulders up. Step into high lunge. Twisting lunge. Left arm back, right arm forward. Pull in that position, root lock the core. Twist, twist, twist. Skandasana to the opposite side where you are now. Over your right shoulder, skandasana to the back of the mat. Find the shape you want to make, whether it's really low or staying up in like a half lunge. Feel it out. Explore shapes here and breathe. We're going to spin to the front of the mat, horizon lunge twist. So reach forward, right hand reaches, pick up your heel and swivel to the knife edge of the back, sort of towards the top of the mat, facing the back, drop through the hip and shoulder. Hopefully this isn't too confusing. We're going to end this in a lizard lunge right here. Bring your hands forward and kind of crawl into your lizard lunge. So you might back up a little bit. And then explore shapes in lizard. Your hands are inside of your left foot. We could try to lower down to forearms. Maybe let your head hang heavy. There's a lot of shapes you can make. You can focus on external rotation on the left hip by rolling out to the knife edge of the foot and pushing the knee away. You could work a king lizard twist, reaching for the back foot. It is more accessible if you're up on the hand. But if you're flexible enough, it could be down here on the forearm. You could connect your right hand to left ankle and twist, twist, twist. Beautiful job. Slowly make your way back into your lizard. We're going to keep the right elbow down. Left hand is in line with the elbow. Funky forearms. Lift up. Hop onto the toes and then kick the left foot back. If you're wide here, you're going to jump forward a little bit. Funky down dog split. Left knee comes onto your left tricep like you're doing crow. Lean forward. Send it up. Here is time to explore funky pincha or funky down dog shapes. Maybe a funky crow. Pop your right knee in and see if you can lift your feet up by leaning far enough forward that you create a counterbalance. Take some strong shoulders, strong core. Again, left foot up, you can hug it in. If you're strong enough to start to swing the right foot up, you could try a funky um, flying crow. <laughs> or if none of that's gonna work for you, you could just try some simple hops. Your left foot's up. You can try to jump off the right toes. Very small. Pushing weight into the elbow, into the forearm, into the left fingers, and keeping those shoulders strong. When you just are done and spent, go ahead and find a recovery place. <laughs> Possibly a child's pose, or maybe just up on the knees, kind of swirling into the spine, the shoulders, and softening into the neck. All right, let's do that again. So, same sequence, listen to the cues. I know we're flipping back and forth a lot, so it might be a little confusing. Do the best you can, and just have fun with it. Make your own shapes if you're not making mine. All right, downward facing dog, practice that hop forward again. Walk your feet in, shorten your dog, bend your knees, bounce that booty, and then jump up. This time, if you'd like, you could try to come to a tuck handstand, tucking the knees into the chest, and then land. Halfway lift to fold. And let's ragdoll up. Hands heavy, head heavy, active core as you stack. Tadasana. All right, tree pose, left foot's gonna lift. Spread your right toes, anchor down. Pull your left knee in, grab your left ankle, place your foot on inner thigh or anywhere up the leg that feels good. 
Push the hips forward as you pry the knee out to the side, lateral. Grow your branches, inhale. We're gonna side bend towards the bent knee, pushing your hips away. Challenge the edge if you fall, no big deal. Swing it up, whew. Swing away from the knee. Lateral bend, push your hips to the left, reach to the right. Oh yeah, come back, line neutral. Left piece fingers, find left big toe. And we'll try to extend. Scooping through that core. Widen the leg, lateral, and then look in opposition. Good. Now, let go without releasing the foot down. Swing it around the back, shiva. Flight with the arms. Head and chest forward, heel to butt, hamstring curl. Try to slide the knee down the leg and sit, maybe without the help of your hands. From the seated position, drop the hip, swing the right foot, the front foot back for pigeon. And then if you wanna adjust yourself to the middle of your mat, you can. Tuck your toes, fly, active pigeon pose. Knee up, try to straighten. Knee and toes down, try to find that back bend. Heart to sky, hips melting, but staying square. Go ahead and sit off to the left. Right foot swings back around, this time rocking forward. Step, lift your butt. Step the left foot back, high lunge. Add your twist. Left arm forward, right arm back, root lock, pull in opposition. Breath in and out. From your twist, Skandasana, completely opposite direction. Towards the back of your mat, facing the other way. Bend. Find the depth, possibly coming through seated or just holding a half lunge. Explore how your ankle, your hips, your inner thigh and groin feel. Swiveling your body all the way to the front of the mat. And again, turning back over your right shoulder for horizon. Swing forward, lift heel, swivel onto knife edges of feet. Shoulder lifts. Hip melts down. Finally, finding your lizard lunge. So we'll lift and crawl yourself back a little bit. So your knee is pretty much over your toes or in line. Just see what feels good. It's actually not, it's a great stretch to pull the knee forward if you'd like, but probably gonna be able to get deeper onto the forearms if we're a little bit pulled back. Just see, see what feels good. You can explore shapes. If you have healthy knees, there's nothing wrong with bringing your knees over your toes. Yeah. If you wanna work on the hip opening, peel to the knife edge of the foot and gently pry that knee to external rotation, hip away. If you'd like to try king lizard, you could wrap your left hand around your right ankle and try to hamstring curl and grab the foot. Remember, it's much more accessible up here on the hand, so no force. See what you get. You can hug the heel in, and then as you deepen the twist, you'll push that foot towards the back and allow the shoulder and the body to spin open. And you can release back down. We're gonna make our way into that funky down dog. So your left elbow is down, your right hand is shoulder width apart in level or in line with your elbow. You're gonna walk your back foot in a little bit and slip that right foot toes to sky. Now you're probably wide, so hop it closer. Down dog split with funky forearms. Right knee, can you tuck it onto the shelf of your forearm like you're going into crow? And then you have so many options. You can practice just maybe lifting the knees to meet. You could rest your bottom knee on your left tricep. Find a funky crow, a funky flying crow. Knee in, maybe toes to sky. So my body just wants to try to press and come off. I don't know why. Or you can work those little 
Ah, funky down dog. Little hops, little hops. All strengthen your shoulders, squeeze. Maybe you catch a moment and you snag the legs in funky pincha. Woo. And then you release and ragdoll to kneeling. Beautiful job. All right, we are gonna go through that second flow really quick. If you don't wanna do it again, fast forward and ignore it. Let's just hop into Malasana at the top of the mat and right away up to standing strong legs. Tree pose, grab the right ankle and lift. Good, from your tree pose, we're gonna take our peace fingers, we're gonna move quick. Grab the foot, press it to the right, look left. Release the foot, shiva squat. All the way to seated, swing left foot back to pigeon. If there's any pigeon shape, maybe you wanna do a quick mermaid and pigeon. Swing the left foot forward. Step into high lunge, rock forward, butt up, heart up, step back. Twist, standing twist, twisting lunge. Now turn over your right shoulder, Skandasana. Go to the front of the mat, lift up the back heel, Horizon lunge. We're moving quick. Lizard lunge. Funky forearms. Right elbow, left hand. Walk. And we're going to step the left foot back. Right foot hops in. Maybe you make a quick shape. Or we're just going to pop into down dog. Walk up to the right hand. Jump forward. Malasana, told you it was quick. Up to standing, use those strong legs. Tree pose, left foot, inner thigh, standing tree. Grow your branches, inhale, tuck the pelvis. Tuck the tailbone. Take your peace fingers to your left big toe, extend. Guide the foot left, gaze right. Let it go and keep sweeping the knees to meet, shiva, bend, land, drop the hip, swing the right foot back into pigeon. You can readjust yourself here. Find any quick shape in pigeon you wanna make, possibly a mermaid bind. Release, swing the foot forward, step forward, Right foot forward, left foot back, high lunge. Twisting lunge to your right, right arm back, left arm forward. A breath, skandasana, over your left shoulder to the left back of your mat. From skandasana, swing to the front of the mat. Horizon, pick up the heel and swivel to the knife edges. Horizon lunge to lizard lunge, crawl back. Breathe. Left elbow down, right hand down. Maybe hop in, kick right toes to sky. And again, you can readjust yourself. Any shape you wanna make, breathe. And press both hands down, right. Hop up left, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big sigh out. Bring the knees down, camel swivel. Right heel of hand to right heel. Proud chest and heart, maybe cactus the elbow. Swivel to the other side, through forward fold to camel, cactus elbow. Hips forward, heart up, swing back. Whoo, have a seat and bring those feet out wide. Gentle straddle, pancake fold. Breathe into your fold. Couple little stretches here. You're gonna be in your straddle, I'll face you. Bend your right foot in, grab your right ankle with your left hand. Side bend, you can lift up that hip and maybe go for the toes, 
Of course, if you're hanging up here, that's fine too. A breath here. Lift up. Pull the foot to inner thigh and swing your right hand behind your hip and lift your chest, lift your hips. Good, holding this kind of stargazer uh, modified side plank, we're gonna hop your hand lateral and find partridge stretch. Kind of like a dancer on the knees, kick and open the chest. And then we'll come right back out of it, release. Try not to put this foot down and guide your hips behind your right heel. Then walk back out to your wide leg, fold. And we'll just repeat that on the other side. Walk onto your left foot, bending left knee. Right hand walks to left ankle. Lateral bend, maybe making this kind of, um, What's it called? Infinity shape. Good. Pull the knee apart, scoop the belly in, and rotate the chest and shoulder up. It's okay if you can't get that deep. Just listen to your body. As you lift, externally rotate the hip. Pull the foot to inner thigh. Left hand swings behind. Lift the hips and heart. Good. Breathe here. Find the shape you want to make, whether it's more back more of a back bend or a side stretch. If you want to go into more of a back bend, you can swing the toes behind you. Then we're going to hop the hand out and find partridge. Heel to butt, toes to sky, kick back. Proud chest and heart. One more breath here. Spread those bottom fingers, anchor, release. Try not to put the foot down as you sit back. Bring your feet together to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fingers to knees. Cat back, we've been working on this all class. See if you can pull those feet up for four, three, two, one. Fold, walk those hips back. See if you can align your fingers with your knees. We're gonna try to just lift your butt. Your knees can be bent. Push down, swing the hips back, push the shoulders down. Really hard to do this without blocks. You could play around with blocks if you'd like. So one more pose, all out effort, then you'll have some yogi's choice time and shavasana. Good. Lean forward, hands are more towards the knees than back by the hips, okay? Depending on your hamstring flexibility. Push down, pull the hips up. And maybe the feet up too. All effort, land and release. Slowly on to the back. I stretch long, fingers away from toes, ribs away from hips. Exhale, give yourself a nice big squeeze. Little circles on the spine, both directions. And then I encourage you to explore any shapes that are calling you. Maybe some happy baby. I'll call out some ideas, but you can really just explore what you'd like in this moment. Maybe taking your right ankle over your left in a figure four, and then twisting your hips to the left looking towards the right, pushing that knee gently away. Again, finding that external rotation with the twist. Your foot could land. And then maybe you just kind of let gravity take over and you don't work on pushing the knee out. You let it kind of pull in. So feel free to be working on other things. If bridge, wheel, plow, shoulder stand sound better to you, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you could try a figure four, left ankle over right quad. Let your feet and knees go to the right, your gaze to the left. And we can try to work on external rotation for a breath or two. 
and then maybe just relaxing. Again, yogi's choice time to explore. Feel free to hit pause and just practice. Your body's really fired up. We've moved in all kinds of ways. So either use this time for yogi's choice time or join me for Shavasana. Find your restorative shape for this moment. You can widen your feet to let your feet flop out. You can take your hands out and let your fingers curl. Just note if you were sweaty or got really warm during the practice, which you most likely did, you are probably gonna to start to get very cold quickly. So if you wanna take time to put a layer on, put a shirt back on, a sweatshirt on, a blanket, you can do the same. And then get really comfortable in your space. So you give yourself at least a couple of minutes to wind down allow your body to go into that restorative state that place of rest to find comfort and stillness i know we always feel like we have to be doing something but just to allow ourselves time to be present with the body with our thoughts but allowing our thoughts to be on how we feel in this moment, our thoughts to stay present and not wander. So a scan from the muscles in the face, the forehead, the eyebrows, the jaw, the tongue. Slightly pull the chin up so we have this nice open airway. And this natural breath moving in and out, the belly just subtly rising and falling effortlessly. From the face, scan into the shoulders, the chest. From the neck, all the way down to the tailbone. from the chest to our front hips, our pelvis, thighs, hamstrings, moving down all the way down the arms and legs, allowing the earth to support you. Feeling good about what we just accomplished. Always taking a moment out for gratitude whether you were able to do everything that you wanted to be able to do and you feel really proud and accomplished or just being proud that you made it to your mat today and you made it to the end of this very challenging class. Stay as long as you'd like in your Shavasana. Give yourself, again, that time for peace sit in your silence. Otherwise, I am going to leave you here. Make sure you take some nice cleansing breaths and again, that moment for gratitude. I am so honored you chose to practice with me today. It helps me to get your feedback, your comments, your likes, your maybe recommending my class to friends. All is so appreciated. Thank you for helping my channel grow and the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.